Hey Darius, my name is Erin. I'm with Duff Digital Marketing and we had spoken on the phone last week. So as promised, I'm shooting you this short video just to give you a few tips on how to help grow your business online. And I will keep this short, but if by the end of the video you can tell that that is certainly something that we specialize in and that's something that you're interested in doing for your business, please reach out to us and we can chat. And if not, no worries. I hope you're able to take these tips I'll give you and put them into action. The only thing I do ask, if you don't mind, would just be to give me some feedback on this video and let me know if it was helpful for you. But the three things that we'll be going over will be content, citations, and backlinks. So first up is content, and content is going to be considered anything that you can see on your site here. It does include the words, but also the pictures and what your pictures are saved as. And Google wants to see about 1,500 words on the home page of a website. But within those 1,500 words, that gives you all the opportunity to be able to integrate in keywords that people are searching when they're looking for your services. So my suggestion with your website would definitely be to get some more content added on here. Um, not only do we want to appease Google by having those 1,500 words, uh, but those keywords that I mentioned as well are also a huge component, and that's going to help out a tremendous amount when you are trying to rank on Google. So with that being said, we'll move on to the next thing, which is going to be citations. And citations have a lot to do with this section. This is called the map pack. And here you are on that first slot, which is fantastic. So it doesn't really look like you need much help here, but I'll go ahead and explain it um, just for future reference. So a citation is basically your business name, address, and phone number listed in various directories throughout the web. And when I say directory, I really mean things like Facebook, LinkedIn, Yelp, Yellow Pages, really anywhere else that will allow a business to enter those kinds of details. So you would wanna check out where your competitors are being listed and you wanna grab those listings for your business. But then you want to double, triple, quadruple where you're found. So for instance, if your top competitor has 10 directory listings, you wanna grab those 10, but then you want to add another 20, 30, 40. That's gonna have you completely dominating your competition in that space. But it does of course also help you to rank high here, which it looks like you've already got down pat, which is amazing. So next up is backlinks, and backlinks have a lot to do with this section. This is called the organic section, and here you are on the second slot here. And backlinks, basically there's a website out there that has a link to your site, and it's pushing power to your site, but it's also potentially driving traffic to it. But not all backlinks are created equal. So let's say that you did some work with someone who owns an ice cream shop and they've decided they're going to take a link from their site and push one back to yours. But their link's gonna be all about ice cream, so it's not gonna be very helpful. You would wanna get links from other fencing class companies that send something back to your site or really anything within your industry because that is going to in turn signal to Google that that is the industry that you're in. And because of that, it's gonna be a lot more powerful but also more unique in Google's eyes as well. And this is one of the tools that I use just so I can give you a visual representation. So currently for your site, it's registering 17 referring domains, which are giving it 105 backlinks, getting it found for 24 keywords, and all of this is driving about 36 people to your site per month. Now here's really, from what I can see, your only competitor, uh, Mid-South Fencers Club. So their site currently has 74 referring domains, which are giving them 464 backlinks, getting them found for 341 keywords, and all of this is driving about 142 people to their site per month. So let's see if we can look at the keywords that they're using and hopefully I can give you some good ideas here. So as you can see here, they're ranking for their business name. That's not surprising. Um, here would be a good one, Fencing Durham NC. So this would be a good one because it has the two components that a keyword should have. So it's listing the service or the industry, but then it's listing a specific location. Um, and you can target multiple different locations as they're doing here with Durham and Raleigh, uh, but you just wanna make sure that you stick within your service area. That way when someone does come across you in the search results, they're still going to be able to use your services because you are close enough to them. Um, so the keywords, like I said, are a huge component.
content really in the ranking. So you do want to make sure that you have enough content where you can fit a lot of keywords in there. Um, because Google is very smart. Google is getting smarter all the time. So if you only have, you know, let's say 100 words worth of content and you're trying to stick in, you know, 10 keywords within that, Google is going to see that you're what they call keyword stuffing and they're not going to rank your site based on that. So that is why the content piece is a, um, a really big deal, especially when it comes with the keywords. But I will not bore you and have us go through all of these. I do hope that it at least kind of gives you an idea and kind of lets you know how keywords should be structured. Um, and truly in order to outrank your competition, you just wanna make sure that you're being found in a lot of the same places they are. But as I mentioned earlier too, also making sure that you're always adding on to that, that way you're far surpassing your competition. But that is all that I have for you today, Darius. I do hope that this video was helpful. And if you would like more information about Duff Digital Marketing or how we can help grow your business via your online presence, please reach out to us. We would love to talk to you. But thank you again for your time. I hope that you had a wonderful Memorial Day weekend and we'll speak with you soon. Take care.